Today we're going to be reacting carbon, aluminum, isopropyl alcohol, steel wool, and lithium metal with bromine. Our first reaction is going to be steel wool with liquid bromine. So, in order to in order to make sure that the beaker doesn't crack at the bottom, I'm going to put in some play sand. All right, there we go. So first we're going to put in the steel wool and then we'll open up our bromine. Ready? Three, two, one. Now we're gonna put in flaming steel wool and then pour bromine on top of it. Let's begin by lighting the steel wool on fire. Then we're gonna drop it in and dump the bromine on it. After waiting a few seconds to make sure that the bromine would not set it off, we took it out and tried to relight it while it was wet with bromine. The first time we tried to light it, it didn't work. But the second time we lit it, we actually got the steel wool to catch on fire a little bit, and this set off the reaction. There we go. Mm. Take a picture. Take a no, picture. no, no, you're not close enough. Tasty. All right, so that was a pain to start. So let's see the um, damage. Woo! Yeah, this is hot and uh, not cracked, so that's good. We'll put that off to the side. The paper, however, oh my god, that is destroyed. Okay. So now we're gonna react aluminum foil with bromine. Okay, so in goes the aluminum. There we go. Now to break the bromine. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, so um, sadly, if you heard in the video, it actually cracked the beaker. So, yeah, that sucks. But we got a little aluminum ball right here. Bromine reaction got so hot, it actually melted the aluminum foil into a little ball. Pretty cool. Okay, so now, instead of aluminum foil, we're going to do aluminum powder. As it has a lot more surface area, it should react very quickly. And, uh, bromine, obviously. First goes in the aluminum. Oh, God. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're going to react charcoal, or carbon, with bromine. Okay, so now we're gonna first put in you some charcoal. Mask on. I'll put it on. Right there. 
put in a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna be reacting isopropyl alcohol with bromine to see if it even reacts. All right, so bromine's gonna go in first as we're dropping it in. Oh. Okay. Whoa. It actually dissolved the bromine. Watch this. Okay, so now we're gonna react lithium metal, right here, with some bromine, right here. All right. Go. Obviously the lithium did not react, so now we're going to have to light it on fire and then drop it in. All right, so first we're going to pour in some more bromine. We're going to try this again. Some more bromine. And now, we're going to take the torch. So we're going to be reacting lithium metal with bromine. So, um, as you see, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, lithium, oh my god, it's stuck to the ground. Oh! Wow, it's still burning. Well, <laughs> I'd say, yeah, well, fun. Look at that. All right. All right, here are our reactions. We got our steel wool. Isopropyl alcohol, lithium metal, uh, aluminum foil, aluminum powder, carbon, which didn't really do much, but we still have it. And then we're all gonna have to pay tribute to our two beakers. Sadly, this one, this one took a beating. Uh, well, thanks for watching. If you guys like the video, please consider subscribing.